Hello everybody, this is JW Najarian with the Commercial Real Estate Professional Investors Group and we're here with uh, also with uh, Leonard Manriquez of the Commercial Real Estate Distressed Assets Association. And we're here at the Green Pearl event, the Distressed Assets Summit, with the speakers that are talking about distressed assets and all kinds of great stuff. Um, and we're here today with uh, Howard Liggett, Distressed Real Estate Consulting Services, and you're out of Florida, Pensacola. Out of Pensacola, right That's in right. the panhandle, JW. Thank you. Thank you for uh, speaking with us today. This Pleasure. is really great. Um, you're speaking here at the event, correct? In fact, you just spoke. Just spoke. You, yeah. were, on a, you were on a panel? Uh, actually, there were two of us there presenting. Oh, okay. Uh, we had a PowerPoint there, and mm -hmm. uh, the crux of it was we are talking about an esoteric asset class that has gained an enormous amount of attention over the past few years. Uh, sadly, some of that attention has come from late night infomercials, all of it bad information, mm -hmm. but the truth is that the area of tax liens, uh, delinquent taxes that are due to counties and municipalities across the country has actually become a very attractive asset class mm -hmm. for major institutional investors, J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, Bank Atlantic, and a number of others. Right. And we were here to speak uh, to the distressed summit conferees about the asset class to give them the true picture of what these tax liens represent. Okay. Uh, the overview, JW, was to, to cover the size of the market, which is roughly three to five billion dollars every year that is offered up uh, nationwide for investors to purchase taxes that, for whatever reason, were not paid by the property owners. Right. In today's economic dire straits, which I think everyone would concur uh, impacts all 50 states, mm -hmm. the need to collect every ad valorem tax dollar for the funding of public infrastructure, schools, fire, police, health care, uh, is important. And while the process of coll collecting de delinquent taxes through the sale of the taxes to third party investors, and I think it's important for your, your viewers and conferees to understand that tax lien sales are not selling the property. Right. They are simply selling the taxes uh, and offering the uh, risk taker, i.e. the third party investor, a an interest rate that is fair, that is provided by statute. Right. Investors do not control the process. But the point is that the dependence upon the private sector for making up these shortfalls across the country has become more and more important as the shortfalls have grown larger and larger. And right. they've done that because of the foreclosures and for because of the subprime mortgage uh, fallout. Mm -hmm. Every one of those parcels that had a defaulted mortgage or was in foreclosure also has a delinquent tax bill that should be collected. Right. And Let, let me back up sure. just a second because I, I, our audience are all commercial real estate professionals yes. and investors and sure. property owners and, and the like. So I think most of them are schooled on tax liens. And, but, right. But, but, just in case, sure. The tax lien is, like you said, you're not picking up the building; you're picking up a percentage paid back to you, depending on the state, right? Depending upon the state, uh, and you bring up a very good point. There are 29 states in the District of Columbia for a total of 30 jurisdictions mm -hmm. out of 50 that actually conduct a tax lien or tax certificate or tax sale, as they are variously known. Mm -hmm. The interest rates in play are different. The rights of redemption are. Uh, available to the property owner are very different. Are different. The foreclosure. You're talking about time frames or time frames. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the uh, foreclosure process mm -hmm. is different in all of those states. Most investors in tax liens are in it for the interest return. They have no desire whatsoever uh, to own that property. To own the right. property. And I think that one of the things we see in the press so often, the, the, the mainstream press, is that they define investors as buying homes out from under people. And that's really not the case. These are property owners, not necessarily homeowners. It's a mixed uh, bag of properties that find themselves at delinquent tax sales. Right. Single family residential, commercial, multifamily, vacant property, and certainly commercial and even industrial. Oh, so. yeah. And just to make it clear, the tax liens, I think, supersede all of their liens. They do. Right. By statute, as a way to ensure that counties and cities get their monies and that they are not impeded uh, by other liens, for example, a mechanics lien mm -hmm. uh, or a lien for perhaps uh, code enforcement, 
the states do uh, assign a superior lien position, right. which is also a protection for the potential investor as well. Right. Absolutely. Covering so that. how does, let's um, see, your company is the Distressed, distressed Real Estate, estate Consulting Services, and okay. we are J, JW, an end-to-end -end servicer. Okay. We actually, it nationwide? Nationwide, okay. yes. We represent uh, several clients nationwide, all institutional, okay. and what we do is provide everything in this very linear process uh, with regards to investing in tax liens. We provide the company with pre-purchase due diligence. Mm -hmm. We provide the company with bidding entities. We provide the company with uh, custodial services. Uh, we provide the company with reconciliation reports, both mm -hmm. monthly and quarterly, on the performance of their portfolio. We will handle the tax deed foreclosure application process. We have attorneys that we work with around the country. Mm -hmm. And should it end up being property that is owned by the investor, then we will help them through a variety of sources to market that property. We work very closely with Keller Williams, Caldwell Banker, and we will actually have these properties listed. Important point for your, your viewers, JW, is that a tax deed is not a warranty deed, mm -hmm. and so uh, getting market, marketable title is always the end game, and mm -hmm. I think everybody in attendance here at this, this year's event would agree. But there are ways to obtain that marketable title. We suggest either a quiet title suit with okay. local counsel or use of a company uh, actually based here in California called Tax Title Services uh, that specializes in this particular niche where they will underwrite, using First American Title, uh, underwrite tax foreclosed properties and get uh, the owner uh, an insurance policy. Okay, let me say, uh, understand. Uh, I'm, I'm a single investor, I can talk to you. I'm a bank, I can talk to you. Yes, absolutely. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fund, I can talk to you. Right. Okay, and when I talk to you, do I have, I'm, I'm talking to you to get your list or do I already have a property in mind? Uh, am I putting my money into a trust? Now, primarily what you are doing, if, and if you're working, if you're working with distressed real estate, and the key is to invest in tax liens, uh, you're, you're working with us, uh, we don't pool, uh, okay. Investors, did they pick off your list? That's right. Yeah, we, you. We sit down, and the first thing we do is establish risk tolerance for REO. Mm -hmm. We establish what your expected return is. We explain to you clearly what the upfront overhead costs are to participate in this. We identify the jurisdictions that are most attractive to you. Do you want one with a short or a longer right of redemption period? Are you interested in acquisitions of actual brick and mortar property? Or is the yield play important to you? Uh, we always try to recommend, it has been our experience, JW, that what we want to do is put our clients in a position where